Find a quiet place to sit or lie. No distractions. No interruptions. Find a state of calm. This is your personal time, your private space. And when you hear this chime, that will be your signal to take three deep breaths. So let's practice that now. Part of the healing process from emotional neglect is caring for yourself. When in an emotionally neglectful relationship, you can quickly lose sight of what a healthy, normal lifestyle should look like. Loss of self-esteem is one of the major consequences experienced by the victims of emotional neglect. You may have been led to believe that you simply don't matter and that you're not valuable or important to your spouse. You tend to take care of the people that matter to you, don't you? So when you take care of your needs now, first, you'll begin to develop the belief that you truly do matter, that you are very important. You're as valuable as any soul on earth. Family members, close friends, and even faith communities can support you as you work through this difficult marital struggle, even if you don't feel comfortable sharing with them. While you never have to do anything you don't want to do, it can be very helpful to find one or two trusted friends or family members who will listen without judgment and offer the empathy and compassion you need to heal. When you're in a relationship where there's little to no emotional reciprocity, it can break down your trust in other people in general and may keep you isolated. But remaining socially isolated can keep you feeling down and dependent on unhealthy relationships. It's very common for NT wives who receive constant criticism, judgment, and rejection from their autistic spouse to experience feelings of unsafety in social relationships in general or a fear of being negatively evaluated and rejected by others. So what can you do? Maybe you would go to lunch with a friend you haven't spoke to in a while. Or maybe you could invite a family member you enjoy to a movie. Possibly say yes to an invitation when your feelings are telling you to stay home. How about engaging in a social hobby to meet new people? Be patient and empathic with yourself as you heal. Remind yourself that it's okay to feel angry, afraid, confused, and any other emotions that come up. These emotions are a normal part of the healing process and there's no rush to get past them. These emotions are yours and it's okay to sit with them and experience them.
having and experiencing painful emotions doesn't make you anything except courageous.